Now, I don't know if we have to do any convincing here or not. We definitely need to do some looting. Dengus. Bertir Tumad. I am Dunkas, the Mal and the Donay God of the Yigido. You're very strange for Renaixe. Who are you? My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. You are a Lugayid Blau? Oh, I didn't know there were Onal Manawi amongst them. They may not be so different from us after all. What brings you here, Onal Manawi? At this old man's request, I investigated the conflict that opposes you and my nation regarding the clearing. You will now be able to access it freely, to accomplish your rituals or heal the area. And the congregation will keep exploiting the forest. However, there is one condition to this new agreement. You must deliver this man to us because he is responsible for the deaths of several woodcutters. These men died because of their own foolishness. No one else is responsible for their deaths. If they hadn't cut all the ochre berry trees, they would have survived. What does that mean? What are the two of you talking about? Three woodcutters died after eating the meat of an andrig after it was killed by a venomous Dawson Tats. It's nothing but a terrible coincidence. And if they had eaten the ochre berries... We know that you are responsible for this. The hunters told me everything. How could you do this? You acted more foolishly than an irascible adolescent. Boy, killing these men, you have brought upon us their wrath. And it is only natural that they should ask for justice. Dunkus, I beg you. I only wanted the Renoixe to understand the value of the trees they were cutting. Bloodshed only leads to more bloodshed. And you know that. I would never have thought you capable of doing something so foolish. If you want to stop the woodcutters taking vengeance into their own hands, you must deliver this man to us. I understand. But I have one condition before we make this agreement. The Lugayer Blau fooled us in the past. It is their turn to prove their good faith. What do you want from us? There is a mine in the forest that the congregation has long operated with help from my people. But digging into the mountain has risked it collapsing. We reinforced the earth with wood. We worked with the Lugayed Blau to save the mountain and the men. We agreed to stop digging and sealed the entrance with a boulder. But some Renaigse came back, and I think they started digging again. And some of my people started going missing. Perhaps because they had seen them break their promise. If the mountain collapses and it is your clan's fault, thousands of lives will be lost. And you want me to intervene? You have to stop them. Remind them of their promise. This is the price of my trust. If you do, we punish the person responsible for the death of the woodcutters, and all our quarrels will be gone. I'll go to this mine and see what's going on. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it, Chief. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkus. Kwa Awalam Seg. Okay. So, let's see here. Is that an active quest for us now? No, it is not. Uh, go to the in the Svenvar to access the situation. Well, let's see here. Have we been there yet? Is the question. We have not. Oh, uh, yeah, we get. Oh, no, maybe not. That looks like a camp. Yes. Let's go to the camp. Oh, 
frozen fox. All right, set up camp. Now that we set up camp, we'll save our game. All right, now that we saved our game and we have a camp, I would really like to get, hmm. Eh, it's fine. Uh-oh. Sleeping deer. Dead deer. Is there anything good around here? Herbs. No. Ah, oh, there's some strawberries. Wild strawberries that grow on bushes. Yeah. That's the best kind. The invisible wall has stopped me. <laughs> uh, another one. You know how you avoid running into invisible walls? You check the mini map. Usually helps. That's the uh, logging camp. Wow, they really have been cutting down a lot of trees. That's a shame. That water sound effect is pretty nice. Okay. What else we got out here? There's something. I see that camp. Uh oh. Run, Fox, run! Alright, what is that camp called? The Abandoned Mine Camp. Of course it is. Ridiculous. What are you doing? Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. Actually, no one should be able to enter. This mine is doomed. It's terribly dangerous. I wouldn't know. Our employer, Mr. Mayard, is the owner. He's got all the deeds required. Listen, you should go to the authorities. They can confirm all the paperwork. I am I the authorities. <laughs> Sorry, this is private property. Uh, okay. This makes sense. What is the of the exploitation of a dangerous mine? Do they want their men to die? Yeah. They may not realize how dangerous this is. We should take a closer look. We should take a closer look. Let's uh go around the back side of the mine. Don't mind us. We're just wandering around near the mine. We should take the path that overlooks the outer wall. Nothing we strange here. We should be able here. to see inside from there. Don't you worry. They freed access to the mine. Oh yeah, they did. Probably those missing people that Dunker spoke about. Yeah. That they used to dig the mine. They've made them into slaves. We must talk to Sir de Corsillon. I hope that our nation is not involved in this business. I don't want to talk to Sir de Corsillon. I'm going to go in there with my freeze time and my gun and start murdering people. I know what you're doing. I'll be back. All right. This odd day, my young apprentice.
When last I saw you, I was the apprentice. Now I am the master. Mm. I was but the learner. Okay. See if the old man's still awake. If not, we'll drag him out of bed. Oh, Ponce de Leon. I don't dare stop. Rise and shine, old man! Sir de Corsillon. The sad day, my young student. What can I do for you? I've come to ask you about a mine near Vigigador. It was closed for a long time for security reasons. But someone has started exploiting it again. Hmm. I seem to recall that a concession in this area was sold to a master Maillard. However, I do not recall the details of the contract. It was established by the previous government. Archives? He is a rich merchant from Serene who arrived on the island only a short while before we did. People say that he is unscrupulous. <laughs> unscrupulous? That's an understatement. This man had some natives captured and he's using them as slaves to work in this mine. What? Does this old brigand really think that he is above the law? We cannot tolerate such methods. But... We must determine the best way to attack him. You should start by finding the deed to his property in the archives. Don't worry. We'll not let this man's behavior go unpunished. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Uh, maybe? Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. All right. Back down to the archives we go. The cutaways they do during the conversations when they are expressing some degree of emotion and then they're right back to normal. Like we were talking to the old Sultan dude and the guy breaks in and interrupts him. He's like, how dare you interrupt me? All of my men have been tragically slaughtered. Oh, God. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and do that, that's fine with me. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> it's like, uh, that's a little awkward. The document is written in legal jargon. It's a deed belonging to yes. What do these documents say. I get lost in all the legal jargon, but they have Lady Moronja's seal on them. We should find her. We should to find understand her. exactly what they say. Should we find her? Is there a scenario in which she's not where she always is? We should go track down Lady Moronja. She could be hiding anywhere. Let's search for clues. Waiting up for me again, Lady Mirage? Hmm? Good day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. Good evening. How can I be of service? Well, now that you mention it. I need your advice once more. This time, it's about the property deeds of a plot of land and of a mine acquired by a certain Maillard. Here are the deeds. I must admit that I understand very little of what's written, but your seal is on it. Hmm, do not worry. This type of document is always difficult to decipher for the uninitiated. However, they are very clear. Master Maillard is the owner of a plot of land located near Big Yigador. He can exploit the forest and plant anything he wants there, but it says here that he does not have the right to exploit the mine. It's even repeated in this other paragraph. Any attempt at mining on this land is forbidden. And yet the mine which was located on this plot of land has been reopened and is being exploited as we speak. According to these documents, the mine has been closed for security reasons. This man's behavior is reckless. You should go see him. He's presently in New Serene. He usually spends time at the port when he comes. He has some warehouses there. Maybe I'll do that.
Uh, you know what? All this running around when it's nighttime is slightly annoying. It's either about to become daytime or... I don't know. Either way, we're gonna go rest real quick. We'll sleep it off. Uh, daytime. Three hours, yes. There we go. See, it looks super bright outside, but it's uh, really not. Come closer, good people. Come closer, good people. See my wares? Hey, speaking of wares. Oh, Jesus. Look at all this stuff that we can loot. Alright, let's go talk to the vendor. Let's see what he's Welcome. got. Welcome! It's Welcome. such a pleasure to see you again. Of course it is. Have you seen anything to your liking? I don't know. Let me look. Uh, lots and lots of good weapons there. What is this? That is not nearly as good as what we currently have. Uh, nor is that. Although the rate of fire is better. Stun. It's just less damage. Hmm. No. No, I think we're good with what we've got. Are there sleeping potions here? We're buying those. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. It's possible that later on we will run into a scenario where we need sleeping potions, and uh, I just want to have some with us. How about that? So, let's see here. I'll grab that. I'll grab that. I'll grab that. And we'll go talk to Master Mail Lord. Master Mayard, who's asking? De Sade, I am the legate of the congregation. Well, I'm flattered. What brings you here, Your Excellency? I'm here to talk to you about the mine you have near Vigigador. Are you aware that you have no right to operate it? Nor are you allowed to employ slaves there. But what are you talking about? Surely this is a misunderstanding. Listen, I'm sure there is a way for us to get along. I'm an honest merchant. I've always paid all taxes and the small bonuses needed. Please tell your cousin that I would be happy to send him the gift of his choice. Now, Your Excellency, if you will allow me, I have to get back to my activities. I'm afraid you don't understand, Master. It's not a money problem. That mine is dangerous, and you endanger the congregation on this island by behaving this way with the natives. Come on, don't be so serious, young man. I'm sure it's nothing that a small bonus can't fix. Goodbye, sir. Best wishes to your cousin. Oh, he... We just drag him back to our cousin and tell him what he's done, and then we'll behead him. Off with his head. You know, let's test something. There's a chest down here that you need level 3 lockpicking to get in. And it's a quest chest. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, you need level 2 lockpick. My apologies. Got some letter in there from Egon. Remember Egon, don't you? Spangler's friend. Vankman's buddy. Yeah. Alright. Oh, whoa. 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 More loot. Okay. We gotta go back to Lady Mirage. Uh, nope. We gotta go back and talk with, uh, Ponce de Leon. You'll find all you need. You'll find all you need. Come, closer. Come closer, good people. Oh, no, no, Malawi. Come closer. Look at what I have from the island.
Although he does have some good masks, I'm telling you. As soon as we get one point to put an in intuition. We're gonna buy a fancy looking mask. We may be doing that before we leave. We may already have the point, and I've just been ignoring it. Rise and shine, asshole. Sir de Corsillon. The Sade, my young student. What can I do for you? Uh, guess. I verified the contract with Lady Morange. The exploitation of the mine is illegal, as we expected, without even taking into account what he's doing to the natives. I then went to meet Master Mayard. So, what did he have to say in his defense? He turned a deaf ear and tried to bribe me. Oh, some of these merchants are so rich that they forget basic decency. But it's high time we reminded him of who is in charge of the congregation on this island. Me. Here. This is an eviction notice which dispossesses him of all his land for breaching his contract. For his crimes against the natives, he's banished from this island. I will make him aware of this decision, but you should go to the mine immediately. The prisoners must be freed as soon as possible, and the mine closed once more. I'll take care of it. Can your old professor still prove himself useful? Nope. Looking forward to seeing you again, Sir de Corsillon. Alright, let's go free some slaves. My very own underground railroad. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. Uh, let us go to our residence. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold, stop the presses. Can I do, that's willpower. Eek, I want a talent. When Level 21 is when we get our, ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, level 21, huh? Okay, okay. All right. Well, attributes then. Uh, accuracy level five. Well, I guess that will just give us the ability to use the best weapons in the game. We'll go with that. We're doing all right now. So level twenty-one is what we need, and then we can wear whatever, whatever hat we want. We can buy the cool face mask and use that. Let's uh. Let's ditch some crap here in the in our uh, chest. Put that in there, that, that, and that. Uh, I don't really bring the weapons. We'll throw that in there. Uh, let's get rid of that. We'll keep that. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll keep that. Ooh, the marquee boots. All right, good enough. Oh, ah, 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 wait, sorry. Uh, get get out of the way. Can I? Anybody? Wow. Come on. Get out of the way. Will you stop jacking around. Travel. Go to the abandoned mine camp. Go tell them you're under arrest. That uh, does not compute. Mm -mm, you're under arrest. Sorry, this is private property. I cannot allow you to enter. I yes, don't you need can. your authorization. I have here an eviction notice signed by the governor's ministers. The former owner, Mr. Mayard, has lost his rights due to a breach of contract. Look, ultimately, we are not the ones who decide. We only obey the boss's orders. In that case, where can I find him to notify him of his loss? You'll find him around here somewhere, Your Excellency. Excellent. 
Yeah, now step aside. Um, I don't think we have a chance to convince them to come along peacefully, but just in case we do. Not that I don't want to shoot him for trying to bribe me, because I do. For Are you looking for Master trouble? Master Mayard, I'm so glad to find you here. Here is a document from Sir de Corsillon on behalf of my cousin. Considering the fact that you have not respected the terms of your contract of ownership, you are hereby expelled. The methods you used against the islanders has also ensured your banishment from Tiafredi. Impossible. By what right? Guards, this man threatens me. What? I'm about to threaten you. I'm about to get threatened in the ass. What, what is going on here? A bit of poison on my brain. And let's go to my house. Oh. Get murked. Move away. Things are about to Now here's yeah. a smoothly run business. Slavers have always disgusted me. Let's free the natives and find Dunkers. Free the natives. Find Dingus. Natives, you're free. Ooh. The saber of the... Why does the saber of the sea people look distinctively like the axe of the sea people? I'm just saying, that doesn't look much like a saber to me. <sighs> yeah, not so much. Can we get in here? I suppose the only thing we can do is go in the door that's marked. Free some more people. Go without fear. You yeah. are free. You are free. And know that we are sorry for what happened to you. We must believe that not all the blow or loik. He is an on all Manawi. That's why he understands us. Thank you. We will not forget you. Yes, go. Go forth, be fruitful. Hey, what's that guy doing down there? Oi! Hey, you know it's dangerous down there! Oi! How you doing? Apparently he doesn't care. Well, now that we've freed all the slaves, we'll head down through here. Back to camp and go back and talk to Dunkus. Make him our friend. Dunkus, I have freed your people, as requested. Now give me that traitor. We got some hanging to do. What brings you here on Omanawi? Take a guess. I was able to close the mine. The man who operated it was arrested and he will be banished. Yes. Those you freed told me. From now on, you are my Karantz. My friend. You knew how to renew my trust in your clan. Just as trees grow back after being cut. Thank you, Dunkers. I'm on it. Will you give us the old man now? If you allow it, I would like to punish him myself. Enough blood has been spilled, and he will only call for more of it, since he loved the forest to the point of killing for it. He will be sentenced to heal it. Every day he will replant what your men will cut down. Every day until the end of his life. Does this punishment seem acceptable to you? If I explain to Sir de Corsillon that the man was sentenced to forced labor, I suppose he will approve. Thank you, Dunkers. It's a wise sentence. Is there anything else? Uh, nope. I must leave. Goodbye, Dunkers. Kwa awalam seg. See ya, Dunkers. I'll see you soon. I'll be back. Okay, now that we did that, 
Let's go to the Inquisition. 